Hey guys, it's Miss Condos. Um, this is The Paper Crane. It's by Molly Bang, and I thought that we could read it today. I want you guys to focus on the characters in the book, what the moral of the story is, um, what it would be like if you were in the story, uh, what magic might have to do with this story. Remember that the moral is the lesson that's learned. So when we read The Boy Who Cried Wolf, the lesson of that story was to not lie. So I want you guys to think about the moral in this story as we read it. I also want you guys to think about who the characters are. Characters are the people who are in the story that makes the story happen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so The Paper Crane by Molly Bang. A man once owned a restaurant on a busy road. He loved to cook good food and he loved to serve it. He worked from morning until night and he was happy. But a new highway was built close by. Travelers drove straight from one place to another and no longer stopped at the restaurant. Many days went by when no guests came at all. The man became very poor and had nothing to do but dust and polish his empty plates and tables. One evening, a stranger came into the restaurant. His clothes were old and worn, but he had an unusual gentle manner. There's the man. Though he said he had no money to pay for food, the owner invited him to sit down. He cooked the best meal he could make and served him like a king. When the stranger had finally finished, he said to his host, I cannot pay you with money, but I would like to thank you in my own way. It's pretty kind of him. He picked up a paper napkin from the table and folded it into a sh the shape of a crane. You've o you have only to clap your hands, he said, and the bird will come to life and dance for you. Take it and enjoy it while it is with you. With these words, the stranger left. It happened just as the stranger had said. The owner had only to clap his own hands and the paper crane became a living bird, flew down to the floor and danced. Soon word of the dancing crane spread and people came from far and near to see this magic bird perform. The owner was happy again for his restaurant was always full of guests. He cooked and served and had company from morning until night. The weeks passed and the months. One evening, a man came into the restaurant. His clothes were old and worn, but he had an unusual gentle manner. The owner knew him at once and was overjoyed. Who is that? The stranger, however, said nothing. He took a flute from his pocket, raised it to his lips, and began to play. The crane flew down from its place on the shelf and danced as it had never danced before. The stranger finished playing, lowered the flute from his lips, and returned it to his pocket. He climbed on the back of the crane, and they flew out of the door and away. The restaurant still stands by the side of the road and guests still come to eat the good food and hear the story of the gentle stranger and the magic crane made from a paper napkin, but neither the stranger nor the dancing crane has ever been seen again. The end.